Hi, Cassie. Hi. Um, there's more than 3,000 people over there waiting for you. Oh, no. <laughs> like, how do you feel about that? Do you know that so many people love you here in Brazil? No, I, did, I, I, I didn't know that, that there were so many fans in Brazil. I know that there's a lot of um, Brazilian readers because I get a lot of letters in Portuguese. <laughs> And uh, my assistant has a Portuguese translator, so we can answer them. But um, I didn't, I didn't realize there would be so many people at the fair. It's a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I could meet all of them, but I'll meet as many of them as I can. You. Beleza. Pode. Pode. Gente, se quiser que vocês me contar para perguntar em inglês, não tem problema, tá? I was wondering if we will get to see any more love lace. In the next series. Oh, good, Jessamine. Um, yeah. So, Jessamine from the Infernal Devices, uh, her last name is Lovelace, and there aren't any other Lovelaces, mm -hmm. uh, so she was the last. But um, if a shadow hunter name dies out, then someone who decides to ascend and become a shadow hunter can pick that name that is an unused and use it. And so, since there are so many shadow hunters who died at the end of City of Heavenly Fire, there's going to be a lot more new people becoming shadow hunters and choosing names. So I think we'll see we'll see another Lovelace. Thank you. Yes. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think about the comics? About what? The Lady comics. Lady comics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think. Like I mean, I like Lily. She's really sweet. She's really, you know, nice. She's really dedicated. Um, I thought she, I thought she was really good. I thought uh, most, of, I thought most of the actors were turned in really good performances. I thought that if there were, you know, issues with the movie, it wasn't good. Yeah. Um, hi. Uh, I, I read about this. Uh, a situation may, maybe would have to we would have uh, a new film uh, about <laughs> no about change uh, clockwork and uh, because no I read you are chasing uh, uh, some director and someone who was writing a script or something like that they're um, rewriting well after the first um, Mortal Instruments movie came out. They got a lot of people complaining that it wasn't like the books, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so you know they had a second screenplay for City of Ashes, and it was very it was even less like the books. Like there was nothing, nothing like the books. Like that. <laughs> um, I think Valentine had a submarine. Did you have a submarine? Submarine. <laughs> and Magnus so ran for mayor of New York. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really, it was very weird. Um, so they kind of looked at the screenplay and they looked at the sort of the fan response and they were like, well, we can't do this. We have to throw the screenplay away and do a completely new screenplay that's more like the books. So that's what they've been working on. It's complicated because usually if you're doing a series of movies, you have the screenplay ready by the time the first movie has come out. You have the screenplay for the second movie so you can go right into filming it and they didn't have one. It takes a year to do a screenplay. so I, I was hoping that in the next couple of weeks I would get to see the new screenplay for City of Ashes. What do you think about, about a TV series? I would love it if they did a TV series. We talked about that. It's hard because the first one's a movie, so it's a little difficult, but it's not like it's never been done. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have, I don't know if you have like Team Wolf here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Me my too. favorite show. I'm going to go the Game of Thrones. <laughs> It was once a movie, and then they expanded it out. So I would love for them to do something like that. And if they can't find a, a screenplay that they like, I think that they might do that because Sony, who did the movie, they have a TV department, and so um, they would be really interested in doing that. Thank you. Hi. How do you feel knowing that a lot of people um, tattoo your rooms? <laughs> I love it. I know <laughs> there, there's a lot of people who tattoo. Oh, well, I, well you should, if you have a tattoo, you should show it to me so I can take a picture. Excellent. Julia. She has one. Because I, 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 I have a collection. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you have a tattoo, you don't want to show me, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a collection of pictures of people.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my friend wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, excuse me for my English. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I want to ask you about Valentin. Okay. Uh, do you regret uh, that he is no more in any other books of yours, and he will be uh, somehow in, 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 in future books? Um, I mean, I, I, I will miss him in the way I miss all characters that you know I can't write about anymore. Um, but I think that he, I think that he died in the right way at the right time. And part of the reason I wanted to write the next three books was to write about Jonathan as the villain instead of Sebastian. I mean, instead of Sebastian, instead of Valentine. <laughs> because Valentine was one kind of villain and Sebastian was very different. So I wanted to contrast the two kinds of villains and I thought that would be that would be fun. So that would be you know, it's good to know that somebody misses Valentine because I don't think that's very <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There will be more more stuff. Books? Of, uh, in books. There will be more uh, Morgan 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 in future books. Morgan 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 I would like to say if you can say something about the Uncle Arthur. The oh, the uncle uh, of the Arthur Black Ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uncle Arthur. Arthur. Um, He's Arthur too. My name is Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, he's not. He's not a bad man. He look. He's he's in charge of the Los Angeles Institute, yes. and he is looks after Emma oh, and Julian and the other Black Ones children, but. He lost a lot of people in the war, and since then he has sort of, I don't know how to say it, but it, it's idiomatic English, but he just disappeared into his own head. <laughs> he has basically stays in his attic and he reads books and he's writing like a book of his own. He hardly ever comes out, so they hardly ever see him. So really, Julian is the one who runs the institute, and Arthur shows up every once in a while and is like, what's going on? Like, Everything's fine, it's all fine. But unfortunately, yeah, he's not the biggest help. <laughs> uh, so, yes, yeah, see, we have heard about an interest theory uh, that Sebastian could, uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> could got pregnant with Sebastian. Can you, can you tell something about it? Well, the, um, we know that there are half humans and half fairies yeah. because yeah. Of <laughs> Mark and Helen are also half fairies. So, um, so there's nothing. There's no reason that he couldn't have gotten the silly <laughs> if it was something she wanted, and maybe she did it. You know, she's very clever and she's always playing a game with everybody. So, if that was something she wanted from him, that would make sense. Obrigada. Thank you. Ah. 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 Crazy if you think about you know the things you would like to change or oh I would have liked to go and put that in but I I I I'm, I regret not showing the um, when uh, Maureen killed Camille because um, mm -hmm. I just didn't want I, I I didn't write it out but I had this whole idea of how you know she was such a young you know was such a young vampire and was so ferocious and how she got you know, an overpowered so much an older vampire, and I think it would have been a really great scene. And even now people ask me, like, how did she do it? How did she do it? <laughs> 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 yeah, so and I'm like, oh, I really should have written that out. <laughs> so I regret that. Thank you. Right. Hi, Cassie. Hi. Uh, first of all, thanks to be here. Um, I was wondering, I spent the last six hours coming here, <laughs> wow. And that was so it was a long travel. And I was reading Power of Princess, so I finished while traveling here. And it was amazing finish and I love <laughs> her devices. 
And I was wondering, as a amateur writer too, <laughs> I was wondering about the cycle that you finished between Deferred Devices and Mortal Instruments that you did with uh, like Jam becoming brother Zachariah. It was always in your mind to do that or suddenly appeared? Um, I decided to write the Infernal Devices after City of Ashes, so it was always in my mind when I was planning, um, like you see Tessa very briefly in City of Glass, and it was always in my mind kind of from that moment on that the Mortal Instruments books would reflect what happened in in the Infernal Devices. So you won't see anything in, in City of Bones or City of Ashes, but there's little bits in City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, like all those spoilers. Well, yeah, you see Tessa's Clockwork Angel at the Institute in New York. When Jace is in the Silent City, he sees that somebody has written JG on the wall. And then yeah. you see Jessamine write her initials on the wall um, in Clockwork Prince. So you sort of, I just wanted the sense of the overlap, of sort of the connection of the past and the future, and how they were, you know not so far away from each other and also it's also the story of Jem. I mean, you know, he goes yeah. all the way from what happens to him in Clockwork Princess to the to the end of City of Heavenly Fire where he's, you know, human again and then he's in Dark Artifices too with Tessa. So that was genius. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit about Simon. In his chronicles will it will it have a feeling? Um well, okay, so we're talking about the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, right? Yes. So, we all know about this? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> Is there a villain? There's a couple of different villains because it's a bit more like the Bane Chronicles than like um, one of the, another book. Each story, you could read it separately and, and if you hadn't read the other stories, you would still understand it, but you know, he's at school, there are teachers at the school, some of them like him, some, there are, you know, a lot of, of uh, shadow hunters who believe that somebody who was once a vampire or a downworlder or, you know, should not be allowed to become a shadow hunter, you know, so he encounters a lot of, of opposition. So there are definitely, there are antagonists, but it's not, it's more of a collection of stories about, you know, Simon, how he changes, um, how he learns what it means to be a shadow hunter. Whether he decides that that's what he wants to do, what happens with him and Isabel? <laughs> oh, oh my God! Somebody <laughs> get from the Mortal Instruments gets married, um, and there's a bachelor and bachelorette party. It goes very badly, <laughs> um, and uh, you know they so. There's a power bats high ceremony, and it's just yeah. about, you know... Um, there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of everything, and, and some of it's more... Some of the stories are more funny, and some of the stories are more serious. And, and uh, it's just a kind of a... To me, the, at the end of City of Heavenly Fire, I felt like everyone in the story was, was pretty resolved. You know, mm -hmm. there's always more questions. You know, Jason Power get married? Do they have kids? How many? You know, same with Magnus and Alec. And, and you know, there's always those kinds of questions. But for Simon, he was the one where I felt like there was the most questions. You know, like, what's he going to do? What's he going to choose? Now that he has some of his memories, but not all of them. And so um, this was, for me, a way to kind of the resolution to his story. You already decided. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Just, just finish, please. Uh, uh, Simon's shadow hunter name. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay.